Hello learners, in this topic we are going to discuss about theory building process. Myself Dr. P. Murugan, assistant professor from School of Management Studies, University of Hyderabad, Hyderabad. First of all, try to understand what is theory. Theory is a statement of concepts and their interrelationships that shows how and or why a phenomenon occurs according to this particular citation. So basically, when you want to understand the relationship between two constructs or two variables, that is independent and dependent variable relationship, in most of the non-experimental studies cases, we are relying on theory support. The reason is, if you put Y question in front of any of the relationship or how question in front of the relationship, you will be able to understand the reason why this particular X is acting as a causal variable or cost variable to affect or to impact your y construct that is dependent variable and what are the goals of theory there are two goals of theory one is understanding second one is predicting understanding is related to understanding the relationship between two constructs using a particular proposition or particular notion drawn from the theory predicting we are trying to predict some of the outcome variables even for that also we are using the theory why we are using theory in our hypothesis specification process? In most of the cases, we may not be able to fulfill the causality principles or causality conditions. To establish the true cause and effect relationship, we may be conducting experimentation, that is, randomized control design based experiments. In most of the cases, we may not be able to manipulate our X variable. That is the reason why we are going for non-experimental studies. When we are conducting non-experimental studies such as longitudinal design or cross-sectional design or diary level studies, especially in the case of cross-sectional design, we may not be able to fulfill the second causality principles that is temporal precedence. Covariation can be established when you have two set of data for x as well as y Simply by establishing the correlation or regression relationship, you will be able to say something about the relationship between two constructs. But in the case of temporal precedence, we may not be able to do that. Because temporal precedence says that, assumption says that X should happen first before your Y. Which means your X variable should happen first and then only your Y can happen or some changes can be observed in your Y. Alternate explanation. So we need to control all the possible explanations which is coming from the extraneous factors that is possible in the case of experimental design. In non-experimental design, that is the reason why we are using control variables. So basically control variables are nothing but other causal factors which is affecting our outcome. One example to understand theory. So this particular theory is coming from this particular citation. This is one of the well-established motivation theory in the literature, especially in the motivation domain. So here, the theoretical understanding is performance is affecting employee satisfaction through intrinsic rewards and extrinsic rewards. Also, this particular relationship is moderated by perceived equitable rewards. When I perform better job, or if my performance is really better than other employees working in the organization, I'm expecting two things from my employer. One is intrinsic rewards and then extrinsic rewards, basically motivational benefits. Which if I get these two, two types of rewards from my employer, obviously I'll get satisfaction. And if this reward fulfillment process is equitable among the people means, Further, this can also enhance my satisfaction level or individual satisfaction level. This is the explanation coming from this particular theory. Now, you try to understand, there are two types of reasoning methods are used whenever we are trying to develop a theory. One is inductive reasoning and then deductive reasoning. In inductive reasoning, we are starting with the observation and then we are trying to conclude something about the relationship. Basically, in most of the groundwork theory approach and then conceptual papers published in journals like Academy of Management Review 
and then human resource management review set of journals you will i mean if you look at the papers published in these two journals always they will propose some other propositions basically those propositions are derived based on inductive reasoning approach and in directive reasoning approach we are starting with the theory and then we are making the observation then finally we are trying to prove or disprove the theoretical notion so this is how we are trying to develop the theory so inductive reasoning is sometimes referred as data to theory deductive reasoning is referred as theory to data one of the classic article published in academy of management review by looking at this picture alone you will be able to understand something about theory theory will have a boundary limit and the relationship between two constructs are referred as proposition relationship between two variables are referred as hypothesis and this particular theory or theoretical assumption will be based on values time and space please read this paper to get further understanding about theory and now try to understand the differences between proposition and hypothesis so propositions are nothing but statements explaining the logical linkage among certain concepts by asserting a universal connection between concepts hypotheses are nothing but formal statement of an unproven proposition that is empirically testable for example look at this slide so here job resources to positive behavior is referred as proposition under the job resources you can possess any construct for example job autonomy supervisor support and then uh, um, coworker support all those things are referred as job resources positive behavior is individual outcome so one of the individual outcome is job satisfaction it could be organizational commitment also so the relationship between two concepts are referred as proposition and relationship between two empirical hypotheses i mean relationship between two empirical constructs i mean variables are referred as hypothesis so this is all the some of the references which i have referred for preparing this particular topic thank you